All right, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be talking about how to split a body in Fusion 360. Um, right now, I already have, let me just jump over, a sphere. That's just right here. And I have two different surfaces or planes that we're gonna be using to cut this object with. Uh, first, is we're just gonna jump in with the surface, actually. So surface, for I haven't covered them yet, but they're just a three-dimensional plane in a nutshell. So right now, you just have your split body feature just right here, and so we'll click on that. It asks for the body that you want to split, which is the sphere. It asks for the splitting tool, which is going to be the surface, and entity splitting tool, extend, extend, extend it. This is only useful if it's not going to be covering the whole thing. Obviously, you can see right now that it's going through the whole thing, but yep, yeah, doesn't really make... Um, and so there you have it. So you can see how it extended it. If I turn that off, it doesn't extend it. In this case, it's not really needed. So we'll click OK. And I'm actually just going to hide the surface right now. So you can actually see how it has cut these different pieces. You can see they're separate. One thing to note, which is kind of interesting and a bit different from SolidWorks and from some other programs, is so I'm going to just drag it up and down. You can see, yep, these are two separate different pieces. Um, however, this is being created by a relation attached to this surface. And so if I pull it away, you can see that it actually is, is like this invisible wall where the surface is that's still holding onto that relation. <clears throat> so that's kind of a, a, an interesting thing to keep in mind. Um, is that it will change if you pull it away without taking it with um, the actual surface. So I'm just going to cancel that and go back. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of the surface. All right, and we're going to get rid of that split as well. So we also have just a pl normal plane right there. So we're going to do the same thing. We want the sphere. And then for the splitting tool, we want, can't reach it from there. We want that plane right there. And you can see right away, it just, boom, plopped it on right there. I'm going to click OK, and we have, again, these tops and bottoms. Um, if we did move it again, if we're going up, it's going to only cut that circle from that flat point. But if we go sideways, it's still cutting it. So, yeah, that's just something to keep in mind if, when you're using this tool, is that if you're planning on moving the part, um, there are definitely limitations to it. And that is it. That is how to slice a 3D model um, in Fusion 360. Really simple tool. Definitely at times where it's very useful, um, but not one that you use very frequently. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Uh, and like always, please subscribe, and I hope you have a good time watching these and learning about 3D modeling.